all of you pass some people to me going to dinner and seriously again dude <laughs> You go right in as soon as I start recording. Well, at least that's because I asked you for help, of course. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, we're back with another episode of the Wizard One One Balance Walkthrough. <laughs> and remember, there's only a couple of days left until a Wizard One One story returns, and season twelve begins. So get ready for that. I hope Mirage is as funny as Polaris. What? What? Yeah. If you blade, don't blade. I mean, you can, but I'm gonna start just cheats. Hold on. I always do this. <laughs> The lost toe fighter. Okay. So we can't blade, so that's stupid. Okay, I can't use that. Uh, I have no idea what to use. This is this is a bit of tricky. I am confused. Okay, we can do that, and do that. Wait, I knew he was gonna do that! Frost Giant. Nah, putting up a strike will count. I'm okay. There we go. At least I'll let him do one. One little attack to me. He 
Why are these guys attacking me? I didn't do anything. Rock. I don't think that's gonna kill him. Maybe it might. I don't know. The chances of killing that guy. Okay, maybe you will. <laughs> Thank you! Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I did get new crafting gear as usual. Because why the heck not? Chrysalis crafting gear is, like, good. Okay? Don't judge me. I never believed I would see this day. Spellbinder. I had been trapped by that horrendous creature for too long. You have done so much for my people. Will you help me rally the rest of the burrowers? We need a forceful strike against the remaining Umbra Legion forces. I've heard Blue Razors and Night Flames still plague the Lost Wood. Defeat a hand of each to show them we have returned. Further, here are messages for Elizar Fireblade and Tobias Splitsky. Deliver them for us and make haste. All right. Well, here we go again. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully that should be the last time I defeat these guys and those blue razors. Maybe. Because <laughs> we're getting close to getting into Far Rockius, I think. I don't know. So far we've been going back and forth in Last Wood and Moon Cliffs and Tyrion Gorge as well, so... <laughs> That's the point of the second archive, we're going back and forth in these places over and over again. And yet, the more quests I complete, the more these guys have side quests for me. So, I don't know, I might do them at some point. I might, I might even record them for you all if you guys want that. A message from Bastion, from King Pied Morningsword. I never expected this day. Please tell the king that we fully support him. Of course, for Bastion! As I was saying, for Bastion! It kind of sucks, because I don't have Divim to say the thing with me. He, he's usually better at saying it than I am. Okay, well, heading back to Tobias from Batar. <laughs> I, I can't stop making that joke. Ever since I've been listening to Batar, all I can think of this name now is just Tobias from Batar. Like, <laughs> you took down some night flames in Camp Havoc? Ah, oh, they will soon be driven from the last wood. What's this? A letter from Bastion? Excellent news. I heard many of the bees put down their weapons and rallied to their new queen. Old Queen, whomever. Tell King Piat that the sh to celebrate okay, the king's return, and what's more, the restoration of Bastion, we should restore the king's throne. I've heard the crown gems for the king's throne were seen in the claws of some Goliath stingers. My people know where they are. Near the flower meadow. But only you can get them back. Will you do this? Yeah, sure, why the heck not? Plus, there's probably gonna be four of them, so. Ugh. Of course there's gonna be four of them. I know. I went to Tyrion Gorge, there was a couple of crew baths in the cave, there was four of them, I had to deal with all of them. And I did, and hopefully this is going to be the same.
And also, when I was remixing Last Wood one time, I know the remix wasn't exactly how the original theme would sound, because it wasn't supposed to. It was how I liked the remix to be. <laughs> a remix is supposed to be something very different from the actual original thing, okay? Flashling! Shadow Queen say you come, say, cross your bones, grind your skull, scatter your deck! Yeah, told you. You recover a velvet purse with a handful of dazzling gems. Yep, they are so dazzling. So fabulous! <laughs> I'm not gonna do that anymore, I'm sorry! Covered the crown gems. Excellent. Take the crown gems back to Bastion and use them to restore King Pyatt's throne. Give the king our regards. I will. Who's Valerie Cloud Dancer? When, when did I see her? <laughs> or him? Or it's probably a her. Is it the girls who have the name Valerie, or is it a guy? It's most likely a girl's name, so probably I may be wrong, but <laughs> I'm I'm very stupid, okay? I'm very I'm I'm very intelligent, but I'm also very stupid. <laughs> you restore the king's throne with the crown gems and a pinch of magic. Glorious. Nice. I like how the old. Oh, Thrive's theme plays in here instead of the new one out there. <laughs> the glory of the king's throne is restored. It is a beacon of hope and courage to the burrowers. You are too kind, Spellbinder. You have helped create an unofficial peace with the bees, but we need a formal treaty, such as my ancestors had with the apiary. Can you broker a formal peace treaty with Queen Sabina, so we may stand together against the Shadow Queen and the Umbra Legion? Yeah, see? The the new theme, it plays out here, but in, but in the tombs, they don't. I like that. I kind of like that. <laughs> it's the same in Azteca. Once you finish everything in Azteca, like post apocalyptic apocalyptic, there we go. Apocalyptic. Um the uh, post apocalyptic theme plays in everywhere except for inside some of the places. Spellbinder, I heard that you utterly defeated Belosto Toebiter and restored the round dance shrine. Well done. King Pyatt wishes to forge a formal treaty with us? Yes, I am quite happy to do so. To bind the pact, I need your help. I grieve for the harm I did under the shadow, but I can undo one great evil. Divum Whiteheart was poisoned and laid in a resin tomb. But he is not dead. He is in a form of stasis and can be revived. Goliath Stingers have a similar potent venom. Track down the Goliath Stinger lair and get a dose of their venom so we can create a remedy and revive Divum. Here we go, we're gonna be reviving Divum this time. We're bringing Divum back home. Wait, what? What the heck? <laughs> what are you. Why was he. Why was he asking me for a friendly quest? What the heck? We're not on the same quest. I mean, we could, but, you know, things go the way it goes. Yeah, this time there's two of them, so.
keep wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute why was there four of the goliath stingers in last wood before there should have been four in here and two of them in last wood what the it doesn't make sense what <laughs> Yeah, my voice kind of got a little bit high there for a second. Not high as in the high that you guys might be talking about. Not- ugh. I think I had a little bit too much today. Oh boy. I'm talking about a high, like high-pitched. The storm? Oh yeah, it's because of the red panda pet that I have. Thanks, but I don't need it. <laughs> okay. Do that. We do that. Ooh. Now we kill these guys. Just ask for venom. Take it. We have plenty. <laughs> oh god. And again, if you don't mention, if you don't remember last episode, I realized the the queen's name, Queen Sabina, because she's a bee, like Queen Sabina. Nah. <laughs> that was a clever idea. <laughs> you managed to get the venom. Well done. We need to mix the venom with charcoal powder to transform it to its healing form. You'll have to get some from the Night Flames in Camp Havoc. They use it for their dark rituals. Alright. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Hopefully this should be the last time I defeat these guys. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> You got the charcoal powder. Excellent. Mix it with the Goliath Stinger Venom to create the remedy. I had Diva move to the small gallery. Meet me inside. As soon as I melt the resin casing away, deliver the remedy. Divin's form is there we go. <laughs> but you hope for the best as you make him drink the remedy. There is a long dark moment where nothing happens. No heartbeat, no pulse, no breath. And then Oh, oh, oh that tastes terrible. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, you might get a bit of a aftertaste for a few hours. Don't worry, it'll It'll go away right soon, okay? Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> well done, Spellbinder. I will have my people escort Divum Whiteheart back to Bastion. He should rest for a time. Spellbinder, tell King Pyatt that the apiary is honored to stand with Bastion against the Shadow. The way ahead of you is dark and fraught with peril, but if I can ever help you, have but to ask. Nice. Because we cured Divum. And... And he's going to be back with us soon enough. Sorry. 
Spellbinder, what word do you have from Queen Sabina? A treaty. And Divum Whiteheart returned to us? A glorious day. Spellbinder, the Shatter Queen must be reeling and distracted from your victories here and in the Moon Cliffs. I know you are eager to press on and face the Shadow Queen. I do not understand her dark ritual, but I know it must be stopped. Um, Song of Creation talks about her winning over the battle, and uh, she does it. Spiral is doomed. The Shadow Palace lies at the end of the world, across the Starfall Sea and past the Konda Desert. But how to get you there? Consult with my advisor, Una Moondancer, then question Zaltana the Mirror Mask for her insight. Are you sure we can trust this mantis? Hmm. Strange allies in these dark days. Mm-hmm. True that. You wish to reach the Shadow Palace? The perilous waves of the Starfall Sea lie between us and the end of the world. As the Shadow Queen corrupted the Eclipse Tower, so too did she conquer the Radiant Alcazar and the Solar Ark. But once she plundered them, the Shadow Queen destroyed the Radiant Alcazar to ensure no one else could learn her secrets. She threw it down from the Celestial Heavens. The stars fell, burning into the ocean created the Starfall Sea. There are still celestial fragments in the world, dying star stones, which can help you navigate the Starfall Sea. But I am at a loss as to how to get there. Sultana should know. <laughs> Starstone. Hmm. Ghost Dog, the warlord who commands the Umbra Legion at Fort Rockius, has one. I do not think even you could just knock on the gates to Fort Rockius and have them let you in. The Milanos Tower is a ruin that overlooks Fort Rockius. From the top, you could issue a challenge. However, it would be an illusion. When they charge out to destroy you, you could instead slip inside the open gate. If you make it, look for my hunter sister, Zarozinia the Death Song. She will help you if you convince her we are ally. Awesome. And I can't wait for this. We're getting close to the end of part one, by the way, so that should be great news. See? Told you different will return to us soon. Do you have a plan? Spellbinder, your plan is ambitious. But it is the only one we have. You have my best wishes. You will have a companion on your journey. I told Divim Whiteheart to rest, but he would not have it. Take him to the Milanos Tower. From there, you can better plan your infiltration of Fort Rakius. I am eager to see this through, my friend. Nice. Okay, get past these guys. There we go. Milano's Tower. This was one of our first great losses to the Umbra Queen in the old times. We need to drive out the Umbra Legion's forces from the Milano's Tower. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so right now, thank you all so much for watching, as always, if you did enjoy this episode, why not be a awesome person by high-fiving that like button, and I'll see all of you awesome people in the next video.